Hello, today I'm going to teach you about how to use a device called a vernier caliper. That's this kind of a device where you can measure the length of an object in a very precise way. So this is a caliper. Vernier simply refers to the scale on the device that lets you measure very precisely lengths. And you can measure lengths of items like the cylinder or the diameter of the cylinder by simply catching it in between like that or the inside diameter of an object like this bottle. So we open it up to its widest within the bottle and then we can measure the diameter of the bottle. So it's a pretty simple device and then you simply read the length off of this scale right here. So now let's get into the details of how you read this device. Notice that the bottom scale is in inches and the top scale is in centimeters. So what we're going to do is read this length on the top scale here. But how do you read it? It's going to be somewhere along this scale. But where's the pointer? Well, the pointer is this zero on the top. So you'll notice this zero right here, where that line is pointing on the bottom scale, is the reading that we want to take. So where is that zero line pointing in this particular case? Well, it's somewhere between two, and two and a half, three. So it's kind of between the two and a half, that's 2.5, and 2.6. So it's somewhere between 2.5 and 2.6. So let's write down 2.5 and realize that there's going to be some other digit or digits after the 2.5. Now, how do we figure out what the other digits are? Well, if you kind of estimate, looks like it's about halfway between the 2.5 and the 2.6. So you might say, okay, so that reading is 2.55, and just leave it at that with two significant figures. But this Vernier device lets us get another significant figure. So here's how. What we're going to do is look for a line on this top scale that lines up directly with one underneath it. Notice that most of them don't line up exactly with something underneath, but one of those will line up the best with something directly underneath it. Which one is it? Looks to me like it is the one that's between the 5 and the 6 here. In other words, that one right there. So that's 5, 5. And so that's what goes after our 2.5 reading. The final reading will be 2.5, 5, 5 in this particular case. And so we get an extra significant figures. We can actually read it to the thousandth of a centimeter. Now, let's do another one. Let's measure the length of the cylinder. So I've caught it right in the jaws here. And now I can take it out as long as I don't slide it anymore. So, notice the zero line on the top scale is pointing between the 5 and the 5.1 on the bottom scale. So see that zero pointer? Where is it lining up with? It's lining up between the 5 and the 5.1. Okay, so we can say that it's 5.0 something. 5.0 something. But what is the something? Well, which one of the lines on the top scale lines up directly with something below it, doesn't matter which one, but which one on the top lines up directly with one below it. Looks to me like it's the one between the 7 and the 8, so that would be 7.5. So reading is going to be 5.075. Thank you.